เข้าตรงนี้ใช่ไหมได้ครับผมฮะเข้าตรงนู้นนะครับผมเอาเข้าเข้าตรงนู้นนะครับครับครับอ๋อ just gonna set it down first can I run against the plane As I was told, and then go to door number three to take a shuttle bus to Road C to the park. Eh, not park. Sorry, to the Sky Lane. Okay, to the cycling park actually. So I'm walking towards gate number three. I think like exit number three or entrance number three. Okay, at level one. So from the uh, airport link train, you basically go up one level and head to door number three and take the shuttle bus route C to the sky lane. Okay, here. Going up. Huh? Sorry? Oh, the exit is there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's a bit. Confusing over here. Okay, as you say, exit. Yeah, but the exit is there. Oh, okay. At the side door. Okay. The exit is on the side door. And shuttle bus is straight up. Let's see. I'm not too sure what kind of shuttle bus it is. But Difficult to push the bike and stop. Okay. So this is the shuttle bus station, waiting station. Not very obvious, right? There's uh, not a uh, very clear sign. I think I saw this. Okay, the shuttle bus stop. Very small. And I have to take the route C. Okay, the Skyline. I'm not too sure. If I can ride there. 
but anyway, let's take the shuttle bus first and then if I come back, probably I might just cycle back. Okay, so the shuttle bus only bring me to this in the chain, this station. And it is still quite about 3 km away. So I guess I have to still ride over there. <laughs> Let me figure out first. Okay. Then I just gonna cycle there. Behind me is the shuttle bus C. You can see. Oh, you see it's turning left. It's turning left actually. It means they can actually drop me. But I don't know why everybody is dropping there at the bus stop, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway, it's drizzling. The weather doesn't look so good. It's been raining this few days. Yesterday, a sunny, raining. Ah, okay, not a good weather. So anyhow, run or ride. Best to stay at home, relax, have a nice hot coffee, and. Flooding system isn't very fantastic, not very great actually. So, the pool, the water, the water. Is this a place to go in? Oh, let me look at my. It seems like that's the that's the that's the place to get in. Or is this is the place to get in? This is a car park. Yeah, I might be wrong. Okay, so I just need to take a turn. Another turn. And get it. Okay, it says turn left. My foot says turn left. Get it. 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 Get it.
Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, I forgot to bring my towel. Okay, the GPS says here, but then it says there. So, yeah, Google Map. Yeah, sometimes. Many times they actually go strong with Google Map. So, okay, okay, we're just gonna find a shelter. I need to find a shelter soon. Okay, yeah, this is the uh, car park to so the uh, sky park. Guessing so, yes it is. Registration office. Okay, I had to get a tag to get inside into the track. So you, you will need the original passport. Okay, the original copy of the passport to get a permanent pass. All right. If not, then you can you actually use your ID. I actually I use my IC. Okay, to get a one day pass. So this is a one day pass. So my IC is actually with the office. So once I finish, I will come back to exchange for the ID. So let's go. Okay. In. So this is the entrance to the. Um Cycling park. Okay. And this is the tag. It's a one-day pass. As you can see here. And uh, from what I understand, the track is about 20 over km, 23 km, 21 or 23. I'm not too sure. Okay. So this is where the entrance of the tag is, and then you need to step in somehow to step here. Ah, okay, and then it's open. Done. Okay, and uh, yeah, I forgot to say the helmet is compulsory because they actually asked me if I had my helmet. Okay, so yeah. So remember just now when I was here and I said that uh, there's this bridge. Okay, so this is actually the bridge to the um, track. Very wide. Start point. Okay, let's see. Looks cool. Nice, but the uh, track is wet. 
but doesn't matter my shoe are actually wet anyway so you can see there's actually two different colors track over here okay the blue is for anybody anyone okay like me leisure okay slow normal speed and the purple track are for those more serious cyclists fast so yeah the purple one is the uh, the faster track that's the blue one is the average okay i'm classified as the average so stick to the blue and make sure that i don't hop other cyclists Ah, the water is actually splashing on my shoes but doesn't matter it's gonna get wet anyway so there's the distant marker on the uh, floor on the road only about 500 meter into my route nice scenic just me alone I don't see anybody here it's a Sunday actually probably there are quite a lot of uh, cyclists that I saw earlier that are actually going back so most will actually ride two rounds I spoke to one of them earlier and uh, they actually wanted to do a two round but because of the rain and they decided to stop at one because they are all drenched hey there's one guy you see so much faster even on the uh, blue lane ah very windy I don't know the mic will actually pick up the wind noise but yeah it's a uh, bit of a head wind okay I'm 1km into my ride just 1km okay so like I said earlier Most uh, people actually, um, I think, drive here. Okay, and uh, not many people actually will take the public transport. So I spoke to one of the uh, cyclists earlier, and uh, well, she said that um, I can actually ride from the airport to this park without even have to take the shuttle service. quiet track especially on the Sunday maybe it's um, well, not too convenient to come here by public transport so you don't see really you know you don't see quite a lot of people on a Sunday and uh, I did see some a YouTube video that someone actually write from the, the downtown Bangkok okay down to this airport and uh, yeah, I was told that it's not advisable okay, because it's very dangerous I spoke to a uh, cyclist earlier and well, she was telling me that it's actually very dangerous to drive to ride in the street of Bangkok and no 
think I'm from Singapore, I think um, we also like kind of, you know, envy, you know, how safe Singapore is, you know, how safe it is to drive Singapore. But I did tell her that, yeah, we do have some, you know, minor incident, right? I think it's a two-way thing. Okay, I think recently we have a news. I think on, on, on TV, right? Channel News, Channel News Asia. It's about how you know drivers and cyclists can go out together, you know, on the uh, road. Well, it takes both parties to you know ensure the, uh, the safety the road user. patient, you know, it needs to be exercised by the driver as well and also some consideration by the cyclist, right, not to pick up the entire lane, right, do see some, you know, even just a single cyclist, you know, but they actually take up the entire lane, cycling in the middle of the lane, you know, instead of keeping side. And cyclists that, you know, I, I like to cycle on pavement, as I said, right? I'm not an expert, you know, cycling on the road. And yeah, I think the safety of the pedestrians are more important because that's the only path that they can go, right, on the pedestrian. So as cyclists, you know, we try to, um, you know, be extra cautious when we ride on the pavement, you know, ensuring their safety. Even they are back facing us, you know, just slowly ring our bell to tell them that yeah, we are coming, or you know, uh, we are coming from the left or we are on the right. Don't expect them to, you know, know everything. Okay, I got a call. Regardless, if you're walking, you're driving, or you're cycling, you know, don't use your mobile, you know, don't use your electronic devices. Always look in front, anticipate, breeze. This car that might just turn in without signaling, you know, car that slow down suddenly. Probably they might be, you know, turning or decided to change lane. Well, is everybody responsibility? Right, to ensure the safety, and then we can actually, you know, live in harmony. Whether it's on the road, whether it's on the pavement, whether it's on the in the mall, in the public places, parks. Drizzling, but still not so bad. I'm not somebody who likes to run under the rain, wet, and I prefer hot than rain or just drizzle. I don't like the feeling of being drenched or, with, or get wet with rain. Ending path goes on and on, but yeah, it's, it's really nice, really nice. 
because there's no people, no people, you know, like obstructing you. It's like you are having the lane of park all by yourself. <sighs> what a way to spend a lovely Sunday. And yeah, tomorrow you'll be uh, entering into a partial lockdown in Bangkok. As I said in my previous video, I don't know when this video is going to be published anyway. So I did a couple of them and yeah, still haven't really ended any of them yet. So tomorrow is actually the uh, 12th of July. By the time you see this, well, for me, I don't know when. <laughs> the lockdown might have been over already. <laughs> but yeah, 12th of July, it be a partial lockdown with most uh, shopping malls uh, ordered to be closed except for essentials. Businesses like restaurants, banks, pharmacies, or any services that are essential but they're only allowed to open until 8 p.m. and they can only resume business after 4 a.m. Public transport as well. All the public transport will cease operation at 9 p.m. and resume at 4 a.m. And uh, curfew has also been imposed so nobody is allowed to leave their home from 9 a, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. I can't remember. I don't know. Okay, so from 9 p.m. onwards, you're not supposed to be leaving your home unless you're out for essential businesses or, you know, see a doctor or any med medical condition or anything. Okay, but then, interest, quite interestingly, the park are all are still open, so I can still go for a run. But with the cases um, going up, right, 9,000 plus the past two days, I, yeah, I think I better try to minimize going out, stay at home, yeah, and uh, also, yeah, mandatory working from home. I love to go to the office. Okay, because, yeah, I, like, I like the feeling of you like really, you know, going to work. I'm not somebody that uh, who enjoy working from home. And yeah, because in the office I have one. I don't have aircon at home, right? But it's, it's different. And the chair is more comfortable than the one at home. Okay, anyway, that's just me. Some people can actually work more efficiently at home. Not for me, huh? I mean, even in Singapore, I don't really quite enjoy. Sit on the dining chair, the wooden dining chair. Oh, in and as a bump. And then especially with the home based learning. It's a long, long road. Okay, 
on the left is the airport, the runway, and the sky is dark. Gosh, I see some yellow bird. I don't know what is that. And wildlife, very nice. And oh no, headwind. Ah, stop. Right on a headwind. I think you can actually hear the wind noise, the popping noise. Sorry, I don't have a windshield on my GoPro. I'm struggling, struggling to ride forward. Ah, the wind is so strong. Hey, there's a resting area in front, a hundred meter. Ah. Oh, it's quite tiring. So, cycle against the headwind. Okay, rest area. Your vending machines, washroom. Okay, cashless. Yeah, so I don't think the um, the vending machine uses cash. You can only tap or use QR code to pay for what I was told. See a plane taking off. Ah. Ah. Well, this can be a nice place to run, but sadly, running is not allowed on this track. The sky is dark. Ah. Hopefully, it don't rain, please. Only riding at a speed of 18 km. Okay, you can see the, the plane landing. Ah, so nice. Can I run against the plane? Okay, huh? let's go. Let's cycle. Ah. <laughs> I lose. It's obvious, right? <laughs> More than I think what, 300 kilometer per hour. Six point two five KM.
Hi, I'm actually at the uh, airport sky lane cycling track Sunday. It's uh, drizzling. But still not too bad. I'm struggling to cycle because it's a hit wind. It's a very strong hit wind. And the path is very very long. You can see from the back. Ah. Hey. Enjoy. Okay, on my left is the runway, airport. No ending. It's just like our Singapore Changi Coastal Road. Yeah, long, long, long. You cannot see the end. Actually, in fact, I can see the end. I can see the end. The lampposts. Still very far away. Ah, oh. and the headwind is not helping. Anyway, it's a good workout. I just hope it doesn't rain. Please. Only 7.75 km. Oh, and my bum hurts already. It's not even halfway there. Oh, yeah. 
Maybe if I U-turn, I'll be much faster than taking one loop. But no. Never give up. Keep going. Ah. Finally, I'm done. Actually, my GoPro battery died. <laughs> I'm not using my phone. Okay, so one round is actually 23.5 km, all right, which is not too bad of a ride. Actually, in the beginning, I was struggling, all right, the first uh, half of the ride because of the headwind and also because it was drizzling and then the sky is, looks dark. And uh, I was actually rushing and trying to, you know, see if I can clear the circuit. The park as soon as possible so the more i the more faster that i want to cycle the the, the more i struggle okay but then towards the second half all right and uh the headwind wasn't very strong and the rain has actually kind of stopped and i start to relax a bit and you know i actually quite enjoy right the the, the the cycling part and second half was actually quite a breeze but then again my bum hurts <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is the office and then um, you know if you got a one day pass at the end of the day, alright, just return this alright to the office there and exchange back for your ID. Okay, so today yeah um, I also know that there's actually a bike rental place over here. Okay, so behind me is the uh, bike rental area where it's just beside the office where you actually register your RF bag. Okay, so how to rent a bike? Okay, first of all, you need to register your tag and then you can choose your bike. The different bikes over here, the rates are the hybrid bike is at 400 baht per hour for 4 hours, sorry. Road aluminium 700 for 4 hours and then the road carbon 
mountain bike carbon is actually at 900 for four hours and then you measure your size okay your height over here you can actually measure then there's no cash all right as i say this again okay i think there's a reflection can you can really see so there's no cash you can actually pay via your tech or qr code mobile banking and take your bike and enjoy and the website of this uh skylane okay is in my description so if you ask me if i would want to come again if i were to take the public transport and the 4d probably you know not and probably i'll be more well prepared okay i would want to come here again it's really nothing much you know you can actually see here planes a couple of wildlife but you know it's pretty relaxed you know away from the traffic because you're living in bangkok it's a city cars are everywhere and it's busy and then you know to spend probably half a day over here yourself alone you know the nature the clean air i think it's something that yeah i will want to do it again all right so in my next series i'll see you again